All right, here's a follow-up to the one, the video I just did. Um, kind of in order of how we did things over there, between here and the bus, um, there's where those blackberries were flagged there. I think there's another flag to the left. Uh, there's the okra that we're breeding for uh, drought resistance or just low, no water okra. There's the raised beds with the uh, herbs in it. And then we walk this way to the different vines on the trellises. Five of them, six feet apart from each other and from each post. Walked over here. A bunch of stuff that I've gotten off the road are just waste products. It's the pond that I'd like to put a windmill up and pump water up to the top of these swales um, and just let it flow back down. Fig, citrus, um, uh, persimmon, pear, jujube, jujube, mulberry, another mulberry. It's hard to tell. I think these are sunchokes and the gumi on the other side. Pear, another pear. There's the two fig trees, that fig tree and the one behind. You can't really see it's behind the, the pear. And then there's chestnuts out there, or at least one, a chestnut. And then um, apple, persimmon, fuyu persimmon, apple, fig with blueberries around it. And then down this swale, there's um, camellia bush. I think that's what it is, a camellia bush and figs. So two camellia bushes. I think one's dead, one's struggling. And then that fig. And then a loquat between here and the gumi right here in front of us. But yeah, I try to, we try to put, we put mulch down. We got card, you can kind of see it right here. There's cardboard and then about two inches of compost or old, old wood chips. All those over there. You can see some trash that we picked out of it. But it's from the city municipal just yard waste that they've ground up. Um, or chipped and you see the little paths we put paths down I just kind of threw sticks down and the kids put a lot of pine straw that we harvested from nearby in these trees and just kind of made paths for us so we don't compact it everywhere and where we do compact it's not super compact there's probably six inches of, of wood chips in most of the places or at least the new places we added this year so that's the pine grove food forest